why the Pentagon now fears China's J-20 fighter for the longest time. If you said air supremacy, you were really only talking about one plane, the F-22 Raptor. It was the king of the skies, a ghost on radar, and a symbol of untouchable American air power. The Pentagon, and honestly the rest of the world, felt pretty secure that no other country could even get close to building something like it. It's a fighter that has shaken that confidence, quieted the skeptics, and forced the U.S. to rethink its entire strategy in the Pacific. This is the story of the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, and this is why the Pentagon is so concerned. It was a comfortable lead, the bedrock of U.S. military thinking. As clearer pictures and more information trickled out, a very different story started to take shape. This wasn't a copy. It was a focused, deliberate machine built for one job, to take on and beat the American way of air combat. The J-20's design is a clinic in how to shrink a radar signature. It doesn't seem to be designed for that perfect, all-angle invisibility of the F-22. Instead, analysts think it's built for maximum stealth from the front. Its sharp nose and canopy look a whole lot like the F-22s. Other parts look suspiciously similar to designs from the YF-23, the plane that lost to the F-22, and even Russia's cancelled MiG-1.44 project. It has a widely held view in intelligence circles. The Chinese cyber snooping on the F-35 and F-22 programs gave the J-20 a serious leg up. It's a major step up with more thrust and sawtooth exhaust nozzles that help hide the jet's heat signature from infrared sensors. But whether the plans were stolen, copied, or cooked up from scratch, the result is the same. A stealth fighter that is now being produced at a rapid rate and poses a real threat to the detection networks. The J-20 is a flying supercomputer. The pilot looks at a huge single-piece touchscreen that combines data from a whole suite of sensors. In the nose, a big active electronically scanned array, or AESA, radar can track a bunch of targets at once, even through enemy jamming. It also has a 360-degree sensor system, similar to the one on the F-35, giving the pilot a godlike view of the battlefield. The strategy here seems clear. Slip through the first line of enemy fighters, the Pentagon's fear of the J-20 isn't just about whether it can win a one-on-one -on -one dogfight. It asks about how the J-20 threatens the entire American system of fighting a war in the Pacific. General Kenneth Wilsbach, commander of Pacific Air Forces, tried to downplay it, saying the J-20 isn't anything to lose a lot of sleep over, but then admitted that its long-range missiles are a serious concern. If you want to stay on top of the tech that's shaping the future of conflict, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss what's next. We want to know what you think. It's a symbol of a massive shift in global power. It shows that China isn't just copying Western tech anymore. It's innovating, adapting, and closing the capability gap at a frightening pace. The jet still has weaknesses and its final engine is still a work in progress. But it's in full production. More are rolling off the line every year, and what it can do is undeniable. Drop a comment below. Is the J-20 a true match for the F-22? Or is American air power still in a league of its own? The talk is calm, but the actions are screaming. The Air Force is rushing to develop its next generation air dominance fighter. Uh, for decades, that system has relied on a handful of huge centralized bases in places like Japan and Guam. The arrival of the J-20 means any future fight in the Pacific would be a contest of equals, a high-stakes showdown fought in the thin air at the edge of space. The Pentagon doesn't fear the J-20 just for what it can do today. It fears it for what it represents, a future where American victory is no longer a sure thing. And in the cold, brutal math of modern war, that uncertainty is the most dangerous variable there is. The J-20's mix of stealth, speed, and long-range missiles puts those critical bases directly in the crosshairs. 
It was designed to be one piece in a huge, interconnected network. Another group, carrying precision bombs, could use their stealth to sneak past air defenses and punch holes in the runways those fighters need to land on. The tyranny of distance across the vast Pacific, which used to be a shield for the U.S., is now a weakness the J-20 is built to exploit. It can share targeting data instantly with other jets, warships on the sea, missile batteries on the ground, and even satellites. In fact, analysts widely believe the new twin-seat J-2OS variant is intended to act as a loyal wingman controller, directing swarms of drone wingmen into battle ahead of the manned aircraft, though this hasn't been officially confirmed. And radars get close enough to launch your attack and then use your speed to get the hell out. It has a blended body, sharp angles, and saw-toothed edges on its panels and landing gear doors, all designed with one purpose in mind, to bounce incoming radar waves away from the sender. And just like its American rivals, it keeps its main weapons inside the internal base to keep its profile as slick and stealthy as possible. The J-20 wasn't just another piece of military hardware. It was a statement in steel, a symbol of China's ambition to rewrite the rules. And for years, the J-20 had a serious heart condition. The absolute hardest part of building a modern fighter is the engine, and China really struggled. The first J-20s had to use Russian-made Saturn A-5 III, one engine's the same family of engines that power Russia Su-27s. They worked, but they weren't cutting edge. They just didn't have the raw power or efficiency to let the J-20 do everything it was meant to do. The West stopped laughing and started paying very close attention. The dragon was here, and the skies were about to get a lot more crowded. Turns out, they were wrong. In the West, the initial reaction was pretty much a collective shrug. The images showed a big, angular jet that looked like it borrowed ideas from a few different places. For years, many analysts wrote it off as a hollow mock-up for parades, a piece of propaganda, or at best, a clumsy copy of American and Russian tech. The common thinking was that China just didn't have the high-tech foundation to build a real stealth fighter. Over the last decade, a new fighter has rolled out from behind the curtain of China's secretive avi- Section 1. The Dragon's Unveiling. Picture this. It's late 2010 and the first grainy photos of the J-20 start leaking out of Chengdu. That underestimation turned out to be a massive str- Section 2. The Anatomy of Fear, Stealth, and Deception. To really get why the Pentagon is worried, you have to start with the one thing that defined American air power for a generation. Stealth. But here's where it gets interesting. The G-20's approach to stealth is a little different, and maybe a lot more clever. Of course, you can't talk about the J-20 without bringing up the elephant in the room. Section 3. The Power Plant Problem and Its Solution For any jet fighter, the engine is its heart. But China is now methodically solving that problem. Newer J-20s are flying with a homegrown engine, the Shenyang WS-10C. The WS-15 is the real game-changer. It's the engine the J-2O was designed for all along. A beast meant to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the F-22's Pratt and Whitney. F-119. With the WS-15, the J-20 is designed to achieve true supercruise flying at sustained, supersonic speeds without chugging fuel in an afterburner. While there is no public confirmation that this is a reliable capability in squadron service yet, the potential is what matters. It means the J-20 can get to the fight faster, engage or run away when it wants, and give its missiles more energy, pushing their range out even further. With a reported top speed over Mach 2 and a combat range of roughly 2,000 kilometers, this is no longer just a coastal defense plane. It's a long-range interceptor that can project Chinese power much further into the Pacific than ever before, though its ultimate reach still depends on crucial support like aerial refueling. Section 4. The Networked Hunter, Sensors, and Weapons A stealthy body and powerful engines are great, 
but they're nothing without the brains and claws to hunt. What's really critical, though, is that the J2O wasn't just built to be a lone wolf, but the most direct threat is what it carries inside its weapons bay. The J-20 packs a lethal combination of air-to-air -air missiles. The star of the show is the Place 15. While exact figures are classified, its range is widely believed to be much longer than the AI Mian-2 om Ron, the primary missile on American jets. That single detail sends shivers down spines at the Pentagon. It means a J-20 could potentially spot and shoot at an American F-16 or F-18 before the American pilot has any idea they're in danger. Even scarier, it holds America's most important and most vulnerable planes at risk, the tankers and spy planes. These are the flying gas stations and the eyes and ears of any air campaign. By threatening them, the J-2O threatens to cut the legs out from under an American air operation before it even gets started. Section 5. The Strategic Shift why the Pentagon is worried. And that right, it gets to the heart of the matter. It's a systemic threat. One group of J-20s armed with PL-15s can go after the tankers that U.S. fighters need just to get to the battle. Top U.S. Air Force officials have said as much out. The race for air superiority is heating up faster than ever. At the end of the day, the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon is more than just a fighter jet. The age of total uncontested American dominance in the air is over. The sky is no longer a safe haven.